Okay, come on, how did I do that in my backyard? You wanna find out? Check it out. All right, so this is the center console that I built all nice and done. This thing was so much work, but I feel like it's gonna be a nice little centerpiece. <laughs> I know that's kind of cliche, but it's gonna be a centerpiece to the car. Even though it didn't really cost me that much money to make and do and all that stuff, but I think it's gonna really help tie the whole build together. You know, when you're building a car, sometimes you have to do things that is just a lot more work than you wanna do. But if you don't, you'll never really be happy with it. So if you come across a point in your build where you're like, man, I really should do this, then you really should do it, honestly. You know, I know it's there's a lot of stuff to build on a car. And for guys like us and you know, people like us that build cars, there's always... There's always the possibility of more, right? You're like, well, I got to draw the line somewhere. And, and that's true. You know, we do. We, we say, okay, this is, this is how far I'm willing to go with this build. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? There's nothing at all wrong with that, just to be clear. But we have to realize that sometimes you got to do a little bit more in order to make it all work, you know, to make it all worthwhile. So I did all of this just to make this work but because originally if you remember i spent all of that time getting that chevy camaro console to line up and everything i probably spent i don't know 50 hours 100 hours on it at least probably more at least at least that much time only to discard it only to throw it all out and start anew you know and it's like well that's that's what you gotta as a builder that's just what you have to do sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta be like, you know what? Time to chuck it, man. Time to chuck it. And start afresh. So, looks like I'm gonna have to cut a little bit more of a slit in here, but that's okay. Like I said, it'll be worth it. So what I'm doing here is, I've already got the mounting points right there, which will allow me to mount this and have everything hidden have all the bolts and stuff hidden so let's go ahead and peel this back just a little bit we don't want to scratch anything up we want to make sure that we take our time and do this right now i have to line up these bolt holes here i can see that it needs to come a little bit forward there we go seems like that's pretty close not quite there but it's pretty close there that should do it yeah there we go now we'll put these these are countersunk m6s that i used which will allow me to bolt this up and the reason i did countersinking is because you know i wanted to be able to put the the other mount in here and when you see the, the other piece that i'm putting in here you'll see exactly it'll all kind of make sense like oh i see exactly why you did that now you know, you have to, there's so much little planning that goes into building these. You know, when it comes to building them, you know, first you kind of draw on paper what you're going to do. And then you go out and get something like a shipboard or, or the rolls of hard paper that you can get from like Home Depot and stuff like that. Which will allow you to make kind of like a, a mock-up of it. And it'll, it'll be pretty close you can make really, really close things to what you need with that. And once you get that, then you can transfer those to whatever your material is going to be. So like for this build, I used MDF. So I was able to, you know, transfer those basically hard poster board cutouts to MDF. And it's a lot easier to trim that cardboard than it is to go out and trim MDF. And I know I, I fought it for so long, I always tried to do it without doing mock-up. I'm like, that's just a waste of time. You're doing things twice. It doesn't make any sense to do that. Until I started trying to do the mock-ups and I'm like, wow, this really does make the whole process 
so much easier, you know? And it's like, dang, this was so smart, you know? Oh, it looks like I might not have to cut that. Good. All this stuff is hidden, you know, which is... That's what really makes a lot of these builds hard, is getting everything to where you can't, where you don't know that you did it. You're like, man, how did you get that? How did you do that? You know, that's where, that's when it really comes into play, you know, when you're really, really working. It looks like I'm gonna need to trim a little bit. I'm gonna put a little mark on there so I know exactly where to trim. And I'm gonna get my die grinder real quick and do that. Now, believe it or not, this is actually the second time that I've shot this video. I messed up and didn't record the sound. But I was like, you know, it doesn't really matter because I've got to fix a bunch of stuff anyway. I ran a bunch of Deutsch connectors for different things and I had to extend some wiring. So it wasn't too bad. But when I went to edit the video, I realized that my microphone didn't record the sound. And it was kind of like, it was like, oh, man, all that work for not, you know. And it's like, that's just the, the life of a, a creator, you know. We spend so much time just trying to create content for people to watch. And only to, you know, have little issues like that. You know, so, and it's just, you know, we're building a car, you know. It's like, man, like, I got to notch that out. I didn't, I didn't check it with the brace in there. I only checked it with it sitting in there. So now I've got to cut it real quick. All right, let's cut this out real quick. My hose reel doesn't stay. So if you guys know a fix for that, you let me know besides buying a new one. You let me know because, man, this is so frustrating. Okay, we've got that squared away. Now we need to attach the side braces. I got the, I got it in. I just got to kind of get it lined up now. Come look at it. Come check it out. Oh, yeah. oh, oh wow. See if you see, it's got like the little side trim and all that mm, stuff. That's crazy yeah. Beautiful. Thanks. Whoever gets this. Oh yeah. I hope they appreciate it. I hate you because I'm so jealous. <laughs> this. this yeah. is so beautiful. I'm going back inside for a little while. It's so hot. All right. So there's the center console. All bolted in. Check it out. One of the gauges is messed up. Got a new one coming Monday. These are my switches. Up, down, boom, boom, got that. There's my fuel gauge. There's my Ollie Terminator. This is the little center console thing that I, I picked up. This is for a BMW. Nice little thing, looks nice. That's gonna get pushed down. But yeah, there it is, check it out. Starting to see the whole interior now. It all kind of goes together, I feel. You know, once that door panel's on, stuff like that. But it's just about ready to go to the tuners. What do y'all think?